What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another video where we cover all players in all positions for all budgets. So this time we're taking a look at right backs. So we're going to kick off with our budget option, which is Leeds United's Byram. This guy is an attacking full back. He's got lots of levels to go. And we're not going to waste too much time because you know what you're getting with this guy. It's a cheap option if you are looking to just fill a hole there in a right back position. He's got some fairly nice player skills, of course, as well with blocker. And he is very, very cheap. So yeah, it's a no-brainer if you're looking for someone there. We also have Reese James, who is next up, 110,000 GP. He's another attack and fullback. One of the best players that I have actually used in this is Reese James. He's not as good as he was in eFootball 2023. And there are some various options that you could choose instead of him as well. There are a couple of people missing on this or a couple of players missing on this. This is a very much a passing first uh, attacking kind of right back and the same with alexander arnold right so he costs 170,000 gp he's had a new face he looks like an absolute monster in the game but he does have a couple of defensive frailties so you know when you have played as much as i have in terms of testing out different players you do when you look at a player you do have to look at the full picture right and if you're going to be spending 170,000 gp on alexander arnold you have to be getting most bang for your buck. So this is the ideal training guide for him. You are going to be using him as a passing kind of cross specialist. Think of him kind of like a David Beckham style crosser from right back or right wing back. He's actually better suited as a right wing back. And that's why he's not higher on the list. But as I said before in other videos, it's not all about, you know, ranked or on this or whatever. Next up, we have Pavard. So a couple of the issues that you have with the right backs is that, you know, the likes of Pavard and Danilo, who you'll see in a second, excellent stats, brilliant defensively. But even though they do have a bit of pace and uh, everything about them, really, you've got 80 speed and 76 acceleration, they're more suited to central back positions. Uh, I really love Tommy Yasu. I really love Pavard. I really love a couple of those players that can play left or right back or they're down as a registered card here, but play more centrally. So that is something to keep an eye on. Another player to look at is Danilo. Now, he is available at the time of recording this video on a free with the nominating contract but i think that the gp version of him is really solid as well for seventy six thousand gp it's very very cheap for what you're getting look at the player skills he has look at the stats and look what he trains up to so again uh he's on a form this week as you can see there at the time of recording this a phenomenal player better suited to a really defensive option you need to make a decision whether you want to really attack and right back or you really want a defensive one you can't have either or you know uh, it needs to be one or the other in my opinion if you want to get the best out of them and this will end our video with the last two so we talked about danilo we talked about pavard who are kind of defensive suited now we're going to show you an attacking based balls to the wall type right back right hakimi rocket fast rocket pace really nice to handle davies who we'll take a look at in the left back position for all budgets video as well is similar to hakimi here we've got blister and pace and this is where you really want to kind of throw a lot of those points right he has fighting spirit he's got acrobatic clearance he also has pinpoint crossing pen uh scissors kick and sliding tackle so he is your attacking option because of those defensive stats being a little bit weaker so that brings me to my best budget player to buy for the right back position and it is manchester united's wan basaka i swear i'm not being biased because i'm a united fan this guy is an absolute beast and if you are leaking goals down the wings or you're struggling with tricky defenders and you're struggling to learn the mechanics of the game this will be one of the best 50,000 50, GP best purchases that you could possibly buy. He's a defensive fullback, which is a rarity. But on top of that, he's also got double touch and a wealth of brilliant uh, and varied player skills. Fighting spirit, acrobatic clearance, sliding tackle, interception, man marking, blocker. And of course, as I said, the double touch as well as speeding bullet as a play style. And then when you train him up, he is going to be your defensive option, right? I'm keeping these videos short and sweet. As I said before, you do need to pick a specialist in each position, right? You can have the epics and the legends that will be able to do a lot of different jobs, you know, and be brilliant center midfielders while still being defensive and still being brilliant going forward. But if you're looking at standard players and you're looking to stay free to play or road to glory, or you're just looking to learn the mechanics of the game and build a solid squad, then you do need to really pick the players by position. And that's why I'm saying that what's Juan Basaka is the best defensive right back, in my opinion, in the game. That is a standard player. Look at the stats. It says it, well, everything that you need to know about him. Yes, his balance is a little bit low. He can't really pass and dribble. But this is a defensive option from right back. So let me know what you guys think. If you want an attacking option, Hakimi, Trent, they're all brilliant. These aren't videos aren't really done in ranking. But I do think that Juan Basaka is just so easy to play with. He's so defensively solid. 
and brilliant to train up. All right, that's it for me. Don't forget to subscribe.